Hi everyone, welcome to Think Tricks. Today I have another beautiful project uh, that I'm going to walk through. Uh, it's still it's, it is available on Gumroad, and yeah, uh, I put a small amount because because the file is pretty big, like 100 MB. So I couldn't keep it for free. Uh, anyway, let's get into this. This is what you're going to get um, from this project. So let's watch it. So yeah, like you can see, oh, this is the project you're going to get. Um, everything including the background, the HDRI and these cup sores and the spoon, even this spoon and, and the best part of this project is uh, the one you see this uh, tea bottle, um, it is semi procedural. So after you, after you download this one, um, you're gonna see something like this. This is a for, for the structure. Uh, there's a geo preview texture and the file. Geo I have included on uh, the cup and like I said, a preview. Oh, um, so this is the render. You can you can change the texture the way the whatever texture you want. You can keep it so it's easy. Uh, that's even even I have included the Photoshop file to change i will i'll show you what to do and how to do and everything um so after double clicking this you get to see this one so this is your file this is what you're going to get with this project so it's the file is pretty like this is what you see see i try to keep it uh like a studio like a studio see like there's a fill light, main light, key light, um, and the camera, everything. So, so this is the camera. I mean, this is the lights and camera that you see. See everything. Um, nothing fancy. I just increased the intensity. Intensity. That's all I did. Nothing fancy. The camera is a static. Yeah, there's no animation. Nothing going on. And preps. Let's now let's see the preps. So preps. I just directly imported the preps. Nothing. Uh, I didn't do much. I was like, I'll show you. So before before that, I'll explain uh, what's in the object level. So preps, lights, and simulation. I didn't turn this on right now because because it's heavy. So if I click it, it's going to take a few seconds, but I'll show you that. And animation, animation of spoon. So the spoon you see right here. So the movement of the spoon, like, see, you see that? Yeah. You see that movement? So that is animated, like manual animated. So it's here. See? I animated this by myself so I brought the file I animated it and and of course the materials are very simple um, it's it's here it's here like I didn't do anything maybe a little bit but so this one I used this one so that's this I pretty much used uh, the the default material from Houdini mantra. Uh, I didn't. My purpose was basically the movement. I mean the tea powder. So I I didn't bother about the shading shader part. So again, yeah. Now I'll get inside the prep folder one by one. So cup. Like I said, I did not do anything. I brought the file, I put the material, uh, I used simple material like principal shader or something. Um, and table, of course. So for table, so this it's a box. 
it's a box a plain box like you don't believe me see it's a plain box and I beveled it I grouped this part the edges and I beveled it because I said what I've noticed is that every a table has this a uh, small bevel like small curve so I tend to make a curve and yeah, pretty much it and a UV project and the material that's it and the material I think this is for nothing this I I didn't yeah fancy so for this for this I have a material or oh, like wood chip and I imported the texture which is here which is right here so I have included the texture as well it's here you can use it oh and I brought that even the normal map and displacement map, everything uh, so table part is that much uh, that much nothing it's simple if you know 3d software you'll be like yeah skip talking yeah <laughs> and the bottle part so this prep is different from other I'll hide everything and uh, uh, this HDRI is included I don't know where exactly I got this HDRI uh, I will suggest you not to use this HDRI for commercial purpose um, because I have I don't remember where I got this so yeah up uh, I'll make this into light so press D D for to get the display option world and then background change the lit, change the color scheme so this part so this is modeling part basically so this is where the texture thing is happening uh, texture as in yeah see this is for texture so texture as in there was a texture here um, it's a glass uh, glass shader so you're gonna get you it, it, it's gonna show you this one so I turned off it turned off the shader preview so this is the uh, this doesn't look good but that's okay because that's not the part I'm after and yeah so this is basically modeling part I I, I, I do want to I do want to explain but uh, it's a long process I, I don't want it to because even you are not bothered about I believe you're not bothered about this uh, modeling part you are here for simulation I know Houdini F X so yeah the main part of this bottle this main part is coming from here okay i told you it's gonna take some time when i double click it so it is don't worry it says that it's gonna use gpu so let him use i closed it so yeah brother yes sister so so yeah i mean to maximize this part so this is the part uh the basic model of this bottle so this is the uh the root yeah the root of that bottle so from here i brought that here so you can see object merge or object merge uh you can see that it's coming from the t grain our product so which is this one t grain this one see so i have i have out product here so this is what that calling all right so the best part of so ignore this part if you're not interested in modeling thing 
or procedural thing um minimize it okay yeah, so this is the product you see all right so what i what you have the benefit is i put a controller here and this is what it's going to control so it's a controller basically so you can increase the uh, amount of that top shape size i know the names are really bad like i'm bad at naming things so please so you can adjust that you can adjust this as well and this as well so this is the shape height and this is the cap height so and bottom shape see you can do that you can increase this bar and of course the radius of the total size and portal height and portal height and overall thickness keep it this much is good enough so it's all connected so even even the VDB is this is the collusion part so yeah this is the technique I used I, I want I want to tell you this before anything so you might be wondering <laughs> um, so the whole bottle is not filled with grains see I was smart yeah I took only this part because I know I'm going my spoons going to grab only the top part so I kept only this part so that's what you're going to see here see this is the collusion and the rest is just a solid just a solid you can see here see it's just a solid and yeah so look at here so until here it's a procedural that's why I kept a line here is procedural like if whatever you do here it's gonna change that as well see that as well but after that I sculpted it so to get that shape you know to get that uh, initial shape see initial shape uh, I wanted I wanted to be um, the way I want you know the way I want so I sculpted it I sculpted it using this sculpt note you can just paint over it you can pull you can pull like see you can pull whatever so I paint over it. so if if you change any of here see it's gonna mess because sculpt is a manual stuff so it doesn't doesn't relate with the uh, um, procedural so if you are doing if you're changing the shape or size of the bottle make sure you sculpt manually all right so then I put the green like C0.18 um, I have a pretty good system not pretty good like a decent system 32 GB RAM so this is good enough for 32 GB RAM and then I so it was so it was touching all of my surface of my bottle so I deleted that I deleted that because if you don't delete that or uh, when doing the simulation it's going it's going to spill outside so that's the reason and then there's nothing I did here very very easy it's all I did is that like I, I have attached uh, last time I have attached to velocity this time attraction weight so it's an attribute inbuilt attribute inside pop grain so if you if you go here so this is pop grain this pop grain i did not use vellum grain because 
because I wanted to learn a pop green as well. Uh, from some someone from the forum said that pop green is better than vellum green. But vellum is uh, is best used for other purpose like soft body and cloth and stuff. So so it's artistic. You can change you can change the way you want from the noise pattern. You know, see you can. You can change the way you want everything tiny or big because I believe the grains are I mean T when I check in the real in the real reality uh, I saw only few things are 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 clustering so yeah traction weight is basically does that they tend to like you know the white part stick together and the blue black are going to lose it so yeah and putting a rest node is best practice so that's pretty much it uh, in the basic setup that's why like it's very simple it's all about creating the props all about creating these things it's props and yeah which i gave you for free you know you have it everything you have it, everything you have a spoon everything so and look at here see this part only going to simulate so let's get into the simulation part mm, so i'll jump into the pop i'll show you the setup of pop network oh yeah so see i did not use yeah it's going of course it's, it'll slow things down uh, but that's okay so see it's empty and this is my collider static mesh static mesh is right here I have two static mesh one is spoon sure 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 see even oh yeah for to tell you even I chopped <laughs> uh, the spoon because this part is unnecessary and the handle part isn't necessary come on man and it's only it's gonna in, interact with this one so why would i need this because it's it's a stupidity so that and this so it's like optimizing the scene kind of optimizing the scene if you keep the entire bottle and the entire spoon uh it's your system going to have a tough time uh, yeah, so nothing pretty like this is the only thing I did. So it says like uh, it's gonna activate only for one. So this formula is basically for pop green things. For pop green things, uh, I think um, for every pop green you have to keep this because you are not generating. Uh, particles every frame only one frame it's gonna generate and that's it and then then the rest is simulation then the rest is the the effects so so all geometry first of course first input which is which is here first input first input all geometry and nothing fancy so this is attached to the particle source which is right here attached you can go higher if you want if you have a 32 gb or above um ram you can you can increase the 18 to put it like put it like one or go zero nine as you guys know right so the, the lesser the particle number the larger it is the constraint iteration i the default is pretty five or something so i kept it 60 uh for pop grain from my experience pop grain has a lot of things to do with uh the constraint iteration scale kinetic uh don't know gonna explanation no clumping yeah so these are the 
let me see let me see if, what did I what more I did see I did not do anything see toggle pin toggle pin did not do anything uh no no clumping yes i made a clumping 0 0.5 that's the only thing i did yeah that's the only thing i did and scale kinetic is important so you have to be careful with scale kinetic and constraint duration uh they mess things up so if you are doing a different project that's what i'm saying not in this project but different project if you're trying to do uh, if, if something is not going the way you want because it's like sometimes it scales it's like scale kinetic is more of a friction it just just like a, like a necklace you know when the necklace is break broken broken break yeah sorry for my English uh, it's been a while and also my native is not English mother tongue is not my mother tongue is not English so sorry about that so it behaves just like that just spread the particles so if, as you increase it as you increase it you have better control so yeah and after that nothing of course for spirit it, this is for visualization while while doing it but nothing it's not important that's what i'm to say uh that's it that's pretty much it see i don't uh, yeah one more thing i forgot pop solver mm -hmm. this make a really big difference if it is a five five by five so if this goes default default is what one so increasing the sub steps minimum and maximum constraint iteration scale kinetic are the major are the important thing to be considered when you're doing pop grains if, if something is not going the way you want try changing the value of this how this works of course i'm gonna teach you so 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 yeah that's pretty much it so that's the only thing you have to do so after that after that i deleted the 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 uh, the unwanted part the black part the other one. see i kept only this I kept the source file and I delete the rest of them. And about this, don't have to worry. Like, don't get nervous seeing that. Oh my God, actually rankle. Oh my God. So because pe people are scared of this actually rankle, so I know that. So that's what I did here is pretty simple. So you go to the pop grain grains here you go to the green and you have this uppress boom so after this just click I can show you right now oh, uppress oh damn uppress and enter see Create orient, create on duplicate, duplicate set, set, did not do anything. Even here it's 10, 10, did not do anything. I did not, yeah, I deleted that because it's taking time. Oh, uh, it's the same, uh, except the color, color I gave it inside here, color I gave it inside here. So that is what because I, I like that color and I don't want it to mess things up uh, down here. So so that's it. Uh, I'm gonna uncheck this one display off so that my viewport is much faster. So 
right now will be faster so that said I have explained about the lights it's like video editor have done everything in one hour and then he spent three four hours to get the exact soundtrack just like that it's like simulation is so simple but getting the light getting the right lights at the right position is a pain so check what i did here uh if you like this lighting and play around so perhaps it's nothing like i told you and animation also i did uh the spoon part yes i wanted to show you the spoon part or so collusion part see i deleted the half i told you right so I, I wanted to show you that it was the half and i polyfilled it and took that as the um, collusion geometry it's here collusion geometry and uh, then i wanted to uh, discuss about the, the the texture like you see here right so you see here so you can change the texture so i'll show you how to change the texture uh, just by just placing some uh texture that you like so here is the psd double click it meanwhile i'll go i'll go look for the um glass 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 is here glasses here so I have put roughness zero because that's a glass thing and metallic zero reflection one because glass has one and transparency one so so transparency is one so this will be complete glass but you want texture right so this is glass but you want texture if you guys know how to do texture and stuff just skip and right away go here on the PSD and replace your label so put whatever label you want you have it like uh, you can see so here replace it this is diffuse this is going to be your diffuse a uh, map where you place this and white is a uh, glass basic no why oh, yeah, white is glass so diffuse if you keep this as diffuse and you're gonna get something like this you know you there there is no ref, there is no differentiation so it'll be like like a uh, um you know right transparent transparent diffuse so we have to eliminate that right so that's why i kept up reflection map as well see this is a reflect a transparency map sorry not reflection transparency transparency map so this behave like black is not transparent white is transparent so white is one and black is zero so which is this white is one and black is zero so that's it that's so if you place the uh, whatever um label you have you place it and you will get right away it's not going to show you here because that's a viewport issue just don't bother about that and you go to the table 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 blah, table d bottle and here is where the, the texture is coming but if in case if it is if your texture is like bigger or smaller or stretchy you can adjust it over here like scale play with the scale if it is out of scale okay so there are chances because uh uv is a not proper uv this is just a projection projection orthographic projection so there's no much thing so you can trust the uv you might need to tweak a little bit here and there you know understand so yeah the photoshop part is that much you have to save you don't have to save the transparency one because it's already here uh, all you have to change is change your label 
put your new one and save and uh, save and and bring it over here bring it over texture here base color and that's it you get the picture you get the label you want uh, i also wanted to talk about the render so i already in in the project i have kept this two and a test so what does this two do it's pretty simple so uh show all table and cup so i'll sh explain it more decent so this will render the spoon and the bottle and the grain and this will render the cup uh, table and the shadow of this one that's what the fandom fandom does fandom is gonna get you the tea grain and tea bottle and anim shadows so so the reason why I've done that is first of all the camera is static so camera is not moving so which means you can optimize your render you render so if you're rendering everything in one frame then it's going to take a lot of time so what i did here to optimize the scene is like i only see look at the look at here it's a current free frame so i only rendered this part one frame one frame of this part and i kept as kept that as the background and i uh is actually it's it's actually one so uh and i rendered 1 to 24 of this simulation and i place it on top of it so i have the background which is this and on top of that i kept the t grain that way i could save a lot of time smart right so yeah that way you can optimize your scene so that is very important because time is precious man you have tons of project to do so yep and yeah that's it feel free to check my other other product there's free as well i will be posting few more free projects uh in the coming days so so hope to see you soon i hope you enjoy the project file if you have any questions um shoot it on shoot it here like i have i've given my um instagram so shoot it here whatever questions you have enjoy bye